Hi guys, I'm Mimi Wu. Today, I'm going to talk about the Taiwanese New Wave film. Firstly, its origin. Taiwanese New Wave film originated in 1982 and are closely related to Taiwan's history. Between 1895 and 1945, Taiwan was under Japanese colonial rule. During this period, Taiwan was modernized to a certain extent in terms of politics, economy, and culture. But when the Kuomintang government moved to the Taiwan, the ideological gap between the local and uh, Taiwan immigrants caused some Taiwanese to miss the rule of the Japanese occupation period. Since 1949, means that people who migrated from mainland to Taiwan at that time, they could not communicate with their relatives in the mainland or even cannot mention their hometown. Taiwan at that time is called the period the White Terror. Martial law was lifted until 30 years later. Taiwanese have been suppressed for too long time. We can say that Taiwan was separated in above two periods. There was a separation between the Taiwan immigrants and the aborigines of Taiwan, and the another separation between the Taiwanese immigrants and their relatives who are in mainland. As a result, in the 1980s, the social began to no longer depressed and agitated. Great art is always accompanied by unrest. It coincides with dissolution of diplomatic relations between Taiwan and Japan. The martial arts movies that were originally popular in Taiwan have fallen into a low ebb. So that means Taiwanese films have to seek new ideas. Now we know the origins. Next one is background. There are three representative directors, the Hou Xiaoxian, Yang Dechang, and the Lin Qingjie. Among them, the Hou Xiaoxian hold up half of sky in the Taiwanese New Wave film. And Yang Dechang was the director of the first Taiwan New Wave film in our time. The in our time tells the stories of four people who at different stages to show the growth of people, the evolutions of interpersonal relationships, and the changes in the Taiwan social patterns. The film breaks through the story types of Asian films who love to use middle-aged directors. It enables young director to shoot at low cost and reduce the commercial pressure to exchange for the freedom of the creation. Taiwanese new wave mainly around three themes. Number one is childhood eyes. It means individualized youth experiences. And uh, number two is local roads. Local roads are historical local memories and the unfamiliar cities. Number three is mirror of history. Uh, mirror history is about tragedy under Japanese colonial. As mentioned above, the people who migrate from mainland to Taiwan are culturally separated from the aborigines of Taiwan. This created the first future of the Taiwanese new wave, which was mixture of Mandarin and Hawking. The second future is a long tech. Taiwanese new wave films are usually adapted from literature works and there are as many as 52 literature works that have been adapted. Therefore, they are paying more attention to the beauty of literature in the lens and uh, especially like to use long tag to express the emotion of the character, such as the all of young things. Third feature is the uh, voice over. Heaven is new with film encouraged to placed on the perspective of local history, society and humanities, so that the lens is close to the life and the reality. Therefore, in order to be realistic, Enough. Many Taiwanese new wave movies use voiceovers. Finally, the conclusion. The development of movies is inseparable from social changes. But the film works of the new wave, they didn't choose to expose the scars of society or discussing the cruel history. They used the perspective of a small person to show the tragedy. The memories are not only used to remember the past, but also think about the present and the future.